All right, guys, we got a radio here for a gentleman named Phil. Um, it's going to be Phil's birthday on Wednesday, so everyone uh, give him a big shout. Happy birthday on here. <laughs> <clears throat> Me and Phil talked on the phone for quite a long time on what he was expecting out of a radio and what he didn't expect out of a radio. And one of his big things, like mine, is uh, harmonics and bleed over and splatter boxes. I don't like them at all. Um, so we tune this thing modestly. It's at around a little over 200 watts. And you're going to see up here with almost no harmonics off to the side. Uh, I have the first harmonic marked in the center. You're going to see up here, second to the left and third to the right. <clears throat> um, just so you get an idea. And there's really no harmonics after that. <clears throat> Originally did this on my signal analyzer, but it's all the way on the other side of my bench, and I can't really show it good in video yet. I'm going to try rearranging everything, so I put it on here just so you can get a view. I don't have the oscilloscope hooked up right now. I'm going to hook that up in a minute. I have it going right to... I get some interference up there. I, I don't know if it's the cables or connectors, so I just go directly into each one when I'm doing it. Um, so like I said, you got a watt meter up here. It's going to be your left. is going to be your watts out to the right is going to be your in. We did your receive also, and I'm going to uh, turn that on right now. Hear that. I have to take my word on it because I I don't know if you could see this. Is it over here? That's my signal generator. We're at 27.205 on AM. We're at a minus 110 dBm uh, at 50% modulation, 1 kilohertz tone. You can hear it. It's loud. It comes in. You'll be able to hear people. This has a really good receive. It goes down to about minus 118 when you can still barely, barely hear it, which is phenomenal for this radio. And um, we're just going to run you through the rest. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm not going to run through everything there. Let me uh, take that out and hook up my dummy load. finger in there. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. Put my dummy load in. That no more. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to turn this, so we're on high power, all right, on high power, lights on. I'm going to turn this RF power all the way down. That's how I like to run these. And uh, we're going to turn this mic gain to about a sevens where I like to run the mic. And I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, let's give her a key up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, test, 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 test. So we're right here about 210 and we have very, very clean. You're going to notice audio we are down let me see uh, our carrier first harmonic audio 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 is about a minus six audio 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 dbm one two one two and then two one 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 two minus 55 is the peak, 1212, one, which is phenomenal. So you're way out of uh, you're way out of the other bands. You're not going to be bleeding over, splattering. This thing's running clean. All your power is going out on that first harmonic. People don't realize that. You start turning power up on this and adjusting stuff, you're not only going to get higher reading on your meter, you know, you're going to get a higher, higher harmonics to the left and right, and you might get two, three, four of them. I've seen them go all the way up to 140 megahertz, some of these harmonics, when people are doing it. I'm on a 100 megahertz span, so when you're seeing harmonics there, they're way out of your uh, worry zone. So we're good there. So that was on AM. Now let me I'll let you hear it. Turn the volume up. I have my uh, FTP DX 101 MP. It's tuned at 27205. Um, it's just dead-ended coax. There's no antenna on it right now, and we're going into a dummy load here. So 
All right, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can hear this is a screamer on AM. One, two, one, two, test, test. Audio, audio, audio. We also adjusted all your meters so everything reads properly. Um, one, two, one, two, you might hear a little feedback in there. That's just the microphone. And this is, I'm using a, a cheap um, striker microphone, actually, I have up here. It's the cheapest one I could find. That's what I like to do my audio testing with. I also try it with uh, a power mic, and I use the standard mic just to make sure it's... Every mic sounds a little different, so... But I like to do them with this. This this thing really doesn't need a power mic, but if you want to put one on, it does give a little oomph to it. So there you go, one, two, one, two, and really loud, beautiful, one, two, one, two. Again, I suggest just running the RF power down. If you're still getting a 110, you're not going to get any difference when you turn it all the way up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It goes down a little, actually, so here you're getting a full swing. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, audio. And now I'm going to switch over here. Hold on a second. Switch over to my scope so you can see the pattern all right one two one two one two one two test 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 it's up a little high let me uh one two one two one two two one two again i apologize one two one two one two one two test 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 see that nice clean round ovals no peaks no uh clipping up there nothing so yeah you're at 100 percent audio here at seven you could go up a little higher it's gonna make yeah, it's just making me squeal that's why i'm running it around seven so Sorry about the squealing. So now I'm going to go to uh, upper sideband. Flip this over. And I can take that, turn it off so it's not distracting. It's not hooked up. So upper sideband, let me get on frequency. Oh, that's lower. Can't see. Upper sideband. There we go. And here's your upper side band. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Test, test. Now we can turn our power back up. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Test, test, test. Audio. See that nice, uh, nice pattern on the scope there? There's no clip in. It's a 100% beautiful, beautiful audio on this. One, two, one, two. All right, now I'm going to go to lower side band. I should have did that first. We were there. Alright, we're on frequency and there we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Test, test. And again, beautiful, beautiful audio. One, two, one, two. You're going to boom right through people with this. All your audio is going right out onto the carrier. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. No bleed through. One, two, one, two. That's what we like. Um, so, guys, listen. Um, you know what? Let me uh, turn this off. So, I want to show you. What we did here for uh, Phil got a couple upgrades, and I just wanted to go over them. I'm going to turn this down. Let me turn my light on. I'll well, use this light. I guess we can use this. I turned the light off so that you can see the nice blue lights. Um, so other things that we did here, Phil. I'm gonna plug this. I don't want to rip my cable out. All right, we put the e-chip in. Of course, that's easy. I showed you guys how to do that before, right? Um, that's simply this right here, All right? Easy one to put in. You just plug it in. It comes on the bottom of the unit, not a biggie. All right, we put the uh, switch in here for you, high, low, and a light. And this is the switch in the back. All right, up is high, down is low. Um, we did the fan wire upgrade. I like this upgrade because um, I don't like those RCA plugs they put on the back so we install some bnc plugs on here all right we put a nice heavy cable and it has ferrites on it here we do that too and then i'm going to uh give you a little turn on the side here to make it easier for me easy easy all right i just got to put your sticker on i didn't put the sticker on yet but you're going to notice here this is the primary fuse. This goes to the power supply only. It doesn't protect the uh, main board inside. 
This is a three amp fuse. This will protect the board. So you went from a five amp protection now for the whole unit to a three amp for the board. Much, much better, safer way to do it. And we put a ferrite on that also. And that's just putting a uh, cable down in here. Your ferrite's uh, right down inside here. All right, we got that all done. Um, we did the modification for the light. You have to modify the, um, you have to remove the actual uh, headphone um, board that's on there. There's a board on there. We take that off and you have to jumper uh, something on there to still have audio. So we jumpered that out, put some uh, cold shrink on it. We tied it up so it's not in the way. Got all your wires wrapped up nice and neat. And uh, once we put this all back together, it's going to be one hell of a radio, Phil. It's a really nice, one of the nicest ones I've done as far as with all the upgrades and everything. The only upgrade Phil didn't need was the filter cap. There's a uh, two filter caps on the board. I'll even show them to you in case you guys want to do them yourself. I don't know how handy you are. All right. But right here, you're going to upgrade this. It's a 1000 UF25. You're going to go to a good... You want to put a really good quality cap in there. Panasonic makes a nice, good, um, low noise um, gold cap. 3300 UF at 25 volts. And you're going to put that same cap right here also. 3300 UF at 25 volts. So you change these two caps out. They're expensive, the caps. I do the upgrade. I think it's 25 bucks um, because the caps are so expensive. They're not cheap caps. And then uh, do a probably gonna have to do some alignment on it too so um yeah that's it guys um phil beautiful radio i'm gonna get this shipped out for you monday hopefully you'll get it for your uh, birthday like you said but uh guys again if there's anything you want um i just sold my last um 2995 i had one more that came in but i just i'm putting an order in for three more on monday because people really i love this radio i use one over there myself i'll show you my uh radio if i could get over there to show you mine's on my bench over here it's mine over there i i did the aussie mod in it and i'm going to do a review on that soon i'm still figuring out the odds and ends of it. it it isn't like something you just plug in and it works and you uh you uh know how to use it you got to really uh get into the voice processing and stuff like that from from what i seen though the guy did a Phenomenal job on the installation. I cannot knock him at all on that. I mean, he did a spectacular professional job on the installation. I was very happy to see the detailed work he did. Uh, he definitely takes care of uh, radios when he does them. And the reason I didn't put this in myself, because um, I wanted to do a review on it. And I know I'm getting a little off topic, sorry. I wanted to do a review on it. And I wanted to make sure that it came from them done. That uh, it wasn't, you know... Well, you put something in wrong or you did something right or whatever. I just wanted to make sure it came from them. I did not change. The only thing I did change, I put a PTT on the back of the radio so I can use a hand clicker instead of the microphone on the front. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get into that soon once I get everything set up. I'm still... Uh, I got my computers down there shot, so I'm building a new computer. I just ordered everything for it. I'm waiting for the case to get in. Of course, that's the last thing to get in, right? But, uh, all right, guys, I don't want to hold you around too long. And you can see, I mean, my shop's just loaded with stuff right now. I got my lathe down on the floor because I ran out of room. I got my uh, CNC machine is in the corner over here. I got everything up on this shelf, actually. I don't know if I can move this light out of the way there. It's so annoying. I have a couple, I have a receiver up there. I got a bunch of this. Most of this stuff is going to be getting sold. That's over there. Um, hidden in the back there, you see those blue lights. That's my audio processing stuff that's going to be hooked to this radio also. But at first, I'm going to do it without that to show how good this will work or not work, um, how it comes. You still need to really uh, tune everything in once you get it, so... But yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here, guys. So, uh, Phil, there you go, baby. That's going to be it. I'm going to box it up now and get it sent out to you, right? Happy birthday, 73s. God bless, and gentlemen, stay safe. And like I always say, bye-bye-bye.